Hello and welcome to Ancient Asia. Religion has been around for as long as man has existed. The belief in gods and deities is an ancient tradition and dates back to thousands of years. Religious texts are texts related to a religious tradition. They differ from literary text by being a compilation or discussion of beliefs, mythologies, ritual practices, commandments or laws, ethical conduct, spiritual aspirations and for creating or fostering a religious community. The proof of many of these religions are seen in religious texts discovered. Here are the 10 of the world's oldest religious texts. Number 10. The Atharva Ved The Atharva Veda is composed in Vedic Sanskrit and it is a collection of 730 hymns with about 6000 mantras divided into 20 books. The text is State Patrick Oliver and other scholars a historical collection of beliefs and rituals addressing practical issues of daily life of the Vedic society. Some parts of the Atharvaveda discuss ancient medicine and medical procedures, providing some of the earliest evidences and record of religious medical practices. The other name of the text, according to its own verse 10.7.20, was Atharvangirasaha. There are two versions of this religious text that made it into the modern world the Paipalada and the Sonakya. Like the other Vedas, it continues to have an impact on Hinduism today. Number 9 The Yajur Ved. The Yajur Ved, Yajur Vedaha, from Yajus meaning worship and Ved meaning knowledge is the Veda primarily of prose mantras for worship rituals. An ancient Vedic Sanskrit text, it is a compilation of ritual offering formulas that were used by the priest while an individual performed ritual actions such as those before the Yajna fire. The Yajur Veda is broadly grouped into two, the black or dark Krishna Yajur Veda and the white or bright Shukli Yajur Veda. The term black implies the unarranged, unclear, motley collection of verses in Yajur Veda, in contrast to the white, which implies the well arranged, clear Yajur Veda. The black Yajur Veda has survived in four recensions, while two recensions of Yajur Veda have survived into the modern times. Number 8 The Sama Veda. The Sama Veda, Saman, meaning song and Veda meaning knowledge is the Veda of melodies and chants. It is a liturgical text which consists of 1549 verses. All but 75 verses have been taken from the Rig Veda. Three recensions of the Sama Veda have survived and variant manuscripts of the Veda have been found in various parts of India. Samaveda Samhita is not meant to be read as text. It is like a musical score sheet that must be heard. Number 7 The Instruction of Amanimo While it isn't exactly an extremely religious text, we are including the instructions of Amenemope is often credited for its strong resemblance and relationship to the Bible's book of Proverbs. On top of that, it is often considered a masterpiece and an essential part of wisdom literature. The text consists of a whooping 30 chapters of advice written by a scribe named Amenemope to pass on to his son and provide him with wisdom on how to live a successful life. It discusses values and attitudes needed in order to live happily despite the increase in social and economic difficulties in the world. Number 6 The Book of the Dead 
The Book of the Dead is an ancient Egyptian funerary text generally written on papyrus and used from the beginning of the New Kingdom. The finest examples we have of the Egyptian Book of the Dead in antiquity is the papyrus of Ani. Ani was an Egyptian scribe. It was discovered by Sir E. A. Wallace Budge in 1888 and was taken to the British Museum where it currently resides. Number 5. The Rig Veda the Rig Veda is the oldest known Vedic Sanskrit text. Its early layers are one of the oldest extant texts in any Indo-European language. The text is layered consisting of the Samhita, Brahmanas, Aranyakas and Upanishads. The Rigveda Samhita is the core text and is a collection of 10 books, mandalas and 1028 hymns, suktas in about 10,600 verses called eponymous of the name Rigveda. In the 8 books, books 2 through 9 that were composed the earliest, the hymns predominantly discuss cosmology and praise deities. The more recent books, books 1 and 10, in part also deal with the philosophical or speculative questions, virtues such as the dana charity in society, questions about the origin of the universe and the nature of the divine, and other metaphysical issues in their hymns. Some of its verses continue to be recited during Hindu rites of passage celebrations such as weddings and prayers, making it probably the world's oldest religious text in continued use. Number 4. The Epic of Gilgamesh The Epic of Gilgamesh is an epic poem from ancient Mesopotamia that is often regarded as the earliest surviving great work of literature and the second oldest religious text after the pyramid texts. The literary history of Gilgamesh begins with five Sumerian poems about Gilgamesh, Sumerian for Gilgamesh, king of Uruk dating back from the third dynasty of Ur. These independent stories were later used as a source material for a combined epic in Akkadian. The first surviving version of this combined epic, known as the Old Babylonian version, dates to the 18th century BC and is titled after its incipit Shutur Eli Shari, surpassing all other kings. Only a few tablets of it have survived. Number 3. Coffin Texts The coffin texts are a collection of ancient Egyptian funerary spells written in coffins beginning in the first intermediate period. They are partially derived from the earlier pyramid texts, reserved for royal use only, but contain substantial new material related to everyday desires indicating a new target audience of common people. Ordinary Egyptians who could afford a coffin had access to these funerary spells and the pharaoh no longer had exclusive rights to an afterlife. Number 2. Pyramid Text The pyramid texts are also known as one of the oldest religious texts in the world. During the 5th or 6th dynasties of the Old Kingdom in ancient Egypt, the text was carved on the walls and within the sarcophagi of the Saqqara pyramids. These texts were meant to be for the pharaoh and were reserved for him. The text of this religious script had to do with the protocol of dealing with the pharaoh's body after his death, including how to protect his remains and ensure his reanimation after his passing, which would 
allow him to carry on to the afterlife and ascend to heaven. Number 1. Kesh Temple Haim The Kesh Temple Haim is one of the oldest surviving pieces of the literature in the world. It is often also called as the liturgy to Nintud on the creation of man and women. The first discovered tablets that were a part of this work were found during the excavations of a library temple in Nippur, the most ancient Sumerian city which focused on the worship of the goods Enlil and Ninlil, who Sumerians believed created all things. The hind consists of 134 lines, originally split into 8 different houses, each ending with a unique rhetorical question.